Now, Austin versus Austin. Uh, Tenny, of course, playing uh, Pokemon Trainer. Uh, Sassy, of course, sticking with the Rob. We're going to see a little bit of a team kill here, but a good team kill going into, you know, top eight. And to, to avoid any confusion, last match, the player's name was Austin this time. Both cities, <laughs> yeah. all these players are Austin, Texas. These are not the uh, these are not the kin of Austin. <laughs> Let me just correct that. Now, what I was so surprised with with Tenny was his last match he played against uh, Navarre playing Wolf. Mm -hmm. And he mounted these comebacks at like 165% to mm -hmm. zero with Charlie. Hazard, he never ever gave up no matter how bad it was and I'm actually impressed by that oh. so he's one of the players well it, it seems to have a really good mentality he doesn't get tilted or anything mm -hmm. he knows that no matter how big the comeback is he can always make something happen also it's worth noting too uh, that uh, Tenny is a former uh, Charizard main for Smash 4 I'm not surprised by any means I think a lot of Pokemon, Pokemon trainer people are either people who played Ivysaur in PM people who played Charizard mm -hmm. yeah. in, um, in uh, Smash 4 or people who love using Squirtle and Brawl because Squirtle and Brawl was really really good yeah, Squirtle Brawl's been, uh, I mean, Squirtle and Ultimate has been looking at Ultimate too. All right, looking at Ultimate, looking good as well. Okay, he went, he went for the down throw up tilt there, didn't have quite have confidence, but Upsmash might have actually killed there. Yeah, all right, so both these guys are at good percentages right now. I don't know the big moves from uh, Ivy Sword that could kill, but we're in a bad area for both of these guys right now. You're keeping your safe space here, right? Oh, oh. hard read, but yeah. not quite. Try to call out the spot dodge right there, thinking I'm going for a grab. Uh -uh. Oh, each gyro, or each gyro hit's going to be... Pretty bad. Busting out the big guns now. The charge that's coming out. And using that quick change too, also to not avoid that euro and then get the forward tilt kill with Charizard. Yeah, side tilt, uh, very good from Charizard. Great kill move. The tip of the tail, very bad for people. Great neutral get up to, there too to kind of mix them up. I've seen a lot of Pokemon trainer also use Charizard when they're at high percent. He's mm -hmm. heavier. Yeah. He, he needs a bigger hit to die. Yeah. That's sm it's a smart strategy. Squirtle dies like incredibly early. He's one of the lightest characters in the right. game, I believe. So uh, that's a very good pick. Stick with the Charizard, and uh, once again, the Charizard was his made before in Smash 4. I'm surprised both of those missed. He went for two very clean down throw forward air hits, but neither of those forward airs actually hit. Maybe it might have been a rage on the side. Oh, okay. That will 100% kill 207, no the matter what character you are. Undertaker Tombstone, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, my man. All right, let's see what he's able to do here. So this has got to be kind of like hard for uh, yep. Sashi, too, because he has to deal with like... Oh! oh that's a... S wait! Oh, oh! Wait a minute! Are you okay? okay, okay I was okay. about to say, what just happened? How many times can you transform off the stage there? I don't know. I th it's an incredibly quick frame. So I mean, great dunk from Sassy. My goodness, to call out that uh, that surf from Squirtle. Yeah, I was about to say Sassy might have a hard time adapting to this because it's like three different characters that he has to fight. But it doesn't really look like it matters to him whatsoever, bro. And that's that's the that's the bomb of uh. Oh, neither Roxbury. Okay. <laughs> oh, Pokemon trainer mains. Oh! Oh my god, my American man! American Sniper <laughs> in this house! My man is playing Halo right now while we're playing Smash <laughs> Ultimate! <laughs> wow! Incredible accuracy, and Squirtle was on the bubble too! Yeah. The bubble doesn't always accurately reflect, reflect exactly where they are, there's a bit of refraction from the inside to the outside, but man, he just called them out and hit him with that laser! Goodness gracious, I don't know how he saw that, bro! <laughs> my man is looking like a monster right now. We said Austin was looking good, now that Austin's out of here, that's, that's an important point. Maybe a little bit too far in the bracket. But Sassy, or not Sassy, Raw versus Ness is a bad matchup. Right. Why is that a bad matchup? Because Ness can just, like, combo game is really good. Landing against PK Thunder is incredibly tough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if Sassy is able to make it past Tenny, this might be looking good for him to be out of And I'm pretty sure if we're right now going down the bracket in the order of these matches, the winner of this will play against Army. Yeah. So that will be interesting to see. Especially if, if it is, of course, Sassy dealing with the barrage of Pikmin, who's going to see. We're going right back into it. Tenny showing some smart stuff, but not quite yet. He definitely understands what when to switch characters, and he's opted to start with Ivasaur as well. All right, so let's see what happens here. Let's see what proper adjustments my man makes. Uh, it seemed like everything changed when he got that spike, and Sassy just kind of ran away with it. It seems like that's the nature of Sassy's game. Whenever he's able to steal a stock, I'm not, li I'm not dying, bro. Right. Is there a reason you think that Tenny went to town and city um so rob has up air that kills on the top of smash that kills on the top too but the, the up lot zones are, are higher here right? exactly yeah so the opposite of smash 4 yeah the opposite of smash 4 smash 4 this was a death sentence if you're playing against like a ryu or like a bayonetta or something like that okay this far doing a good job kind of being in his face that up he's still the sweet spot right uh for or, uh, it out I for think, Ivysaur. yeah for Ivysaur, i think it does i I'm, i've heard his upbeat and his up air are just absolutely redonkulous in this game right okay trying to land back on stage Got him still trapped in the corner though, Sassy's not be able to figure a way out. 
And this is a good anti zone too to fight uh, fight Rob because most of uh, my man's projectiles as Ivysaur are incredibly irritating to deal with. I would think right here, when you have Rob at this kill percent, you might as well switch to Charizard. It has a huge grab range. I think an up for this kill. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dude, <laughs> my man heard you. All right. My man is getting coaching tips. I got I to got, I got, I got talk a little more quiet, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Some illegal coaching from my man Hungry Bob. Nah, they're, they're wearing headsets. Let's, enough of that noise. But great forward smash from Smashy. Okay. Off to the left side of the stage. Off the left side of the stage. You're taking that stock. Eagle, eagle in the back up. And this is still looking kind of good for Sassy. Yeah, Squirtle's dash game reminds me of Inkling. It's kind of hard to read and follow. He has that sort of like water following him, so it's a little visually impairing. And I think he should use that to hop behind Sassy and try to get a grab with Squirtle. Very quick hits, very small hits, but very, very effective hits with Squirtle. Yeah, and it's also worth knowing too, with Squirtle too, his punch game will be a little bit better because Squirtle's one of the lighter characters, but his punch game on like heavy characters are big right. boys are very, very tough. 94 for Ivasaur. He's going for a spike, Ooh! it looks like! Oh, Not no. quite. That last little bit of gas from Rob's upbeat to get him back to the level. Good stuff from Sassy. Able to make it back, but he's still sitting at a deficit right now. Sassy's been known to make comebacks this game, but it's looking quite a difficult. He's still stuck in a corner. He is dashing in his oh. face. The up air to kill him. Very smart from Tenny. And the up air hitbox one, I think, is absolutely ridiculous, too. If you're anywhere within, like, the... If you're anywhere in the state of that area, you're, gonna, <laughs> you're, you're dying, bro. <laughs> like, let, me, let me change zip codes really quick. <laughs> All right, Sassy's trying to fight his way back. He's at 33%. Granted, that's not great, but I mean, it, 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 if you are able to end the stock right now, it, it's good enough. All right, we'll take it. Yeah, let's see what he's able to do here. He's having problems landing against his character. He's just staying. Ivasaur, he's, he says, this Ivasaur is giving me so much mileage. Can I get a second stock on deck right now? Go for the spike. Okay. Jeez. He's Sassy just, uh, I, I've never known that up he's going to end. Yeah, he's just taking the stock because he doesn't want to get spiked. He wants it to kind of like, wait him to use those options and then recover. Huh. It looks like the spot, the air dodge there was one of the very, very long ones that happens when you go off the stage. Yeah. And it looks like he had no time to even launch any up B, or he just gave up and wanted to relax for a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit unfortunate for him. Hopefully that's not the end of his, uh, his life. <gasps> oh. Oh, oh no. no! Okay. At least he's able to get some sort of a punish there. Yeah, but no, that could have been 40% easy right there. <laughs> oh, side tilt. For side tilt. I almost forget that's a kill option a lot of the time. Wow! Oh! No, you're not coming back, bro. He uh -uh. said mine is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> mine will cut you down right through that that little lip of the stage. And you notice how on certain neutrals, like Town and City, mm -hmm. you don't have a straight up ledge. It kind of yeah. goes diagonal, which means, according to geometry, mm -hmm. when you have a line bisecting an angle going down straightwards, that's going to give contact to a concave angle, sir. That's part of the reason you picked Town and City, actually, too. Yeah. Because not only the higher, bla uh, higher blast zones, also the little curve on the edge too. Yeah. He's able to down it a lot more easily. We saw two downers there from uh, my man uh, Teddy. Maybe even Galaxy Brain, bro. It's it's the hugest brains. You need to have a big brain if you want to get a top eight of Ultimatum here at the Esports Stadium. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm going to game three. I don't know what my man says to pick. Battlefield. Okay, interesting pick. A lot of Raws really like this stage. So he's got the ability to do up air juggles too. Uh, the unfortunate thing here is that my man does have Squirtle, so he does get a little more combos off of the stage as well. So Sassy's got to have a little bit of confidence going to the stage, the stage pick, going to Battlefield of all places. All right, both these guys are playing very, very smart, just using their projectiles. None of them really going in. None of them really want to put themselves in a bad area. They're both going to be using these platforms to their advantage, especially like the Rob, he's a big guy. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a big dude. So he can't quite approach a character that's shorter than him with his platform in the way unless he uses an aerial advantage. But now. Pokemon Trainer has three different sizes, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. All right. Now, how do you get back to the ground? I said before, it's very hard to get back to the ground. I guess. Yeah. You know who he was about to use? He was about to use Neutral Beat. That's what? Wait, 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 wait. That stops Flare Blitz? One of the toughest moves in the game? Wait, could, could he not move after that? No. Gyro actually just, just took the hit. Take notes. Very smart play. We haven't seen that at all from uh, Sassy. I don't know if he had, he had known it the whole time. Take take notes, Leffen. This, this will stop. This will stop Charizard. This will stop the Charizard. Euro. The Mr. President Gyro. I like it. All right. Let's see what he does here. He's got a good. He's got a good lead this far. He's got to just run away with it. And that's what Sash has been known for doing every time we see him on three this far. Okay. Recovering high. Good. Smart. Not risking the possible chance of getting gifted oh at all. Oh my goodness. Okay. Using the downer to get rid of Gyro. Tenny seems a little frustrated right now. He's not sure how to get into this Rob. 
Yeah, and this Rob has been... He's just playing big, such, a, such a good game of keep away. Like, are you going to get close? Don't worry, I'll just smack you back. Yeah. Hero doing the work for me. Throwing it forward. Wait! That's going to be a kill. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Okay, up air. This is this could be the first start that he needs right here. Okay, no, no transformation because he knows Rob's at 0% and Ivasaur with that Nair and probably a grab setup or just jab can actually get a lot more percent on here. And plus, maybe he's got a little bit discouraged too since that Charizard... Uh, yeah, like, he's that, like, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Like, I, I don't want to risk it, homie. Oh, okay. Misses a down smash yeah, right there. That would have been certain death. No American Sniper right now. Okay, nice use of the side B projectile to sort of make an offensive approach thinking of the ledge. Because he, he, he's respecting right now how well Sassy is guarding this edge. Yeah, he hasn't... He's eating small hits. He's not eating kill moves right now. Once again? Oh, okay. All That's right. true. He can either use the Euro to stuff out that Fire Blitz or use it Spike to, to uh, snuff out the up B. All right, Charizard is the big heavy hitter of this group. Of all of the three Pokemon, he can definitely end up, yeah. end up killing my man, especially with the side tilt, too. If he gets a sweet spot of it, he might be able to end it with all this rage that he has. Wow, yeah, 195. It's yeah. fine. Forward is still going to kill, even if you're as, as heavy as Charizard. And Sassy is one stock away from entering our top eight. All right, let's see what Sassy can do here. Just playing very smart. I said before, he's really flexing the lead whenever he gets the advantage. Uh, I'm never going to count out Tenny after seeing that last, that last set versus Navarre, so I'm going to see what happens here. That upbeat. Does some damage, but doesn't quite kill. Interesting for him to use Squirtle right here. Mm -hmm. Squirtle was a... Uh, how, how can he kill? Actually, yeah, yeah, that's a very good point. Maybe he knows something we don't know here. Maybe he's supposed to save Squirtle and that worth doing the Pokemon switch. Okay, I'll have to go okay. with uh, Ivysaur now. He wanted to get off the ledge as Squirtle, give him a little more breathing room to switch into Ivysaur, which should then lead to a kill. Missed the very important grab. Only the last little bit of that Nair hitting enough to get Sassy off the stage. Euro to recover, I love it. Yeah. Golly, Forder not taking it either. 165, Forder taking oh. it this time. He's at 72% though. He ate a lot of damage right there. I mean, it's not close, quite death percentage, but the way sassy has been playing, it might as well be. Uh, I've been saying Euro. I'm pretty sure it's Gyro. <laughs> yeah, Gyro. I'm just hungry. Oh! oh! My gosh, the Gyro off the stage. That's Wait, that's that's and he and did! He does it! Great sassy. play. And very impressive. That yeah. was standard. He understood that the down smash would hit below the platform, below the stage right there, mm -hmm. and that's going to lead to another kill. Yeah, Sassy did a great job on Battlefield. That was a great counter pick. Worked out great for him. And just now he's going to be sitting in the winner's semis right now. That was winner's quarters. We're going to be sitting in the winner's semis. Yeah. Sassy, I said before, without, and I, I, I know I'm predicting a little bit hard in the future, but without Austin in that winner's finals, he might be sitting comfortably in winners finals, go to grand finals. I it don't could be. It I don't could know. be. I, I do feel sorry for the losers bracket, which has to face Austin right now. That's yeah. not, not going to be a pretty oh, sight for them. 